So you're born in Sparta, your player character is born in Sparta, but you move out of Sparta at an early age. So your combat style is not a true Spartan phalanx with the shield and the spear. You're fighting on your own. You're fighting for your money. You're fighting for your life all the time. So your combat is very active, very dynamic. So that meant that we wanted to give them these awesome abilities, these brand new 30 plus uh, amazing abilities that can all be upgraded. And then you're going to choose of those 30 abilities, where do you want them? What power do you want them to be? And how are you gonna mix and match them in combat? So the base combat is based on Assassin's Creed Origins. It's the same sort of uh, hitbox based distance timing. But then we've added all the abilities. We focused on mobility. You're much more active and dynamic, uh, dodging and parrying instead of sort of turtling with a shield. Without the shield, doesn't mean that you don't have the defensive option, actually. We have the uh, parry that is fairly generous. Compared to a block, what it does is it's creating you an opportunity to take back on the offense. If you want to sneak around, put the hood on, you know, it can hide in the bushes and, you know, lure people in and use uh, some of the abilities that are stealth, you can do that a lot more than we've done since Syndicate. Because of your DNA, because of the spear being an artifact of the first civilization, you combine those two things and you get uh, just really, really impressive game-changing abilities for range, for shooting your bow, uh, for the melee combat, and then for assassination as well. You have to build up adrenaline, energy for the spear to use that and, and unleash these abilities. So you have to use your base combat to build up the uh, adrenaline and then you unleash uh, spear ability. So regardless of how you choose to map the abilities, which weapon you want to wield, you will always have a strong aesthetic that true for a Greek hero warrior. We have two weapon slots, the bow, you have uh, five gear slots on your character. All of those can be upgraded at the blacksmith to your current level. You're the only character in, in ancient Greece that has a, a first civilization artifact, but there are mercenaries, there are very strong enemies with the Spartans and the Athenians that you're gonna face that will challenge you constantly. And with the RPG progression, you're going to be facing against enemies that have a higher level than you. It's really gonna be up to you how you play. Tune in to watch next week's episode, Naval Gameplay, Friday at 2 p.m.